What's up guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we are going to talk about if the next target for the crypto market is 2 trillion, why that could be the potential next target. We will take a look behind the scenes what is happening in the market and of course also what we can expect in the near future. But before we are getting started, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you guys are brand new and of course the first link in the video description is my Patreon account. That is the right address for you if you are tired of having no idea in which market stage we are in right now, what you should do, when to buy, when to sell, when it is time to cash in profits. Here you won't feel lost anymore because on my Patreon account I will give you real-time updates on all my portfolio and trading updates plus you will get access to my Discord community where you can chat with all community members also including me. So looking forward to see you guys there. And now I would say let's go straight into the analysis. Let's quickly start off right here with Bitcoin because Bitcoin is going up again right now at 56k. Uh, come close or it, it looks like that it will retest the old all time high. And also let's just also directly take a look behind the scenes what is happening in the buyer index. And if this is the first video that you are seeing from me and you don't know what this buyer index is telling us, how many buyers are in the market right now. And if there are too many buyers in the market, like for example right here, that was right before the crash back in March 2020. So when there are too many buyers, this is an indication that we will see a bigger drop in the very near future. And if there are of course very few buyers in the market, then this is a very positive sign for the trend so that there is much more space to grow. And you can see right now we are here, uh, but with this uh, with this last upward move, we we uh, yeah we grow also very fast in the buyer index. You can see from here to here. May one moment. I will zoom in a little bit. So you can see that from here to here we are just going up and making a new high in the in the buyer index. Of course, not still not at critical levels. And uh, right now also we have kicked out some buyers again, but in general we are rising very fast in the buyer index. And that leads me to three possible scenarios and I will show you all the three right now and also will tell you what is the most likely scenario. Let's start off with this one right here. So as I said, we are rising very fast in the buyer index. And so the first possible scenario is that we are here yeah, continuing to going higher, making making a local top. And uh, then in the buyer index also we are just going higher, maybe come close to the critical levels. And then we will see a, yeah, a drop that is uh, that should be bigger and uh, likely. So I'm aiming for the 21 weekly moving average right here. So that would be my target then. So of course, uh, let's say for example, we will go to right here. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Uh, so let's go. Let's say we go to somewhere right here at 70k, something like that. But this is just an example. And then the buyer index would reach critical levels. Then I'm expect. Then I'm really expecting a bigger drop down to the 21 weekly moving average that is then somewhere here. So that is the first possible scenario. I will also tell you uh, in a minute uh, how likely is it that we will that we will uh, that we will do this scenario. Then the second scenario that was before my higher probability scenario is uh, that we that we yeah continuing this continuing this consolidation stage here for some time, some weeks. So uh, the 21 weekly moving average and the price are just meeting halfway. So that would be the more relaxed way. But uh, yeah, played out that uh, that this is uh, that is that this is not playing out. So uh, yeah, in the beginning, so right here, I said, okay, it's it's a 70 30% chance that this con that this correction will last longer. 
and so yeah then here I changed my mind you know that that is why the red arrow is here uh, because here I have bought in again uh, still still I thought okay still 60 40 so 60 percent chance that uh, that this correction will last longer but we will do some sideways movements slowly down slowly up something like that and yeah played out that the that even the 60 percent chance is uh, was not right so right now we are going back up but you all know why i have bought in right here we have made the decision together in the live stream that was on a sunday night uh, we analyzed the market together and uh, then yeah we came to the conclusion that it is not worth to try to catch another 5 to 10 percent discount when i already have the 30 to 40 percent discount in the coins that i have bought and that is why i have uh, bought in right here not of course that are not the only reasons if you want to see uh, the whole analysis then feel free to watch the the live stream there you can see all of it um, but uh, yeah that is uh, so that are the first two scenarios so uh, first scenario is that we are going higher that we are going higher so that we are just going higher making a new local top a new all-time high and then uh, then the buyer index will rise also with the price very fast going to critical levels and then we really have a, yeah, a serious correction but serious is also how you see that because 30 to 40 percent correction in bitcoin and crypto is nothing that is unusual i just want to say that then very likely the price will come down to the 21 weekly moving average and uh, not just that we are doing a sideways movement and the 21 weekly moving average come closer and closer every week to the price and when they are meeting then the price goes uh, back up again so uh, that is not uh, what then would happen so that are the that are the two scenarios first higher then dropping down the second scenario is that we will yeah do this uh, con continuation of this correction right here and the third and the last possibility is that we are just yeah that we are just continuing to going higher and uh, not really care where the 21 weekly moving average is uh, I also mentioned that that this would be the worst case scenario and if you are wondering right now okay but the price is going up why this is the worst case scenario because uh, for the long term run and because we can uh, clearly see in the in the historical data chart of Bitcoin I really hate my mouse one moment guys so here um, in the historical data chart from Bitcoin we can see that of course we have also go into the weekly chart otherwise we can't see that so from the historical data chart we can clearly see that we are every time coming back down to the 21 weekly moving average except in the last stage of the market so where we are really going parabolic just straight up and that is the yeah that is the final stage of the market and if we should do that right now so not not care where the 21 weekly moving average is then very likely we are in this stage right here and that means of course in the long run that uh, the prices would not go that high and this bull run would not last that long so that is uh, that is why i would not like to see that but that is also a possibility and uh, that is all that is um, my my lowest probable scenario so i will give that uh, yeah, 10 to 15 percent chance uh, the other thing so that is uh, that we are here yeah, continuing the correction i could give that a 20 per 20 to 25 percent chance so that means that the other probability is uh, that we are making a new local top uh, with the buyer index and then you yeah, going back down to the 21 weekly moving average that is the the highest uh, possible scenario for me right now that is the right now 60 to 70 percent uh, chance that we will do that and also uh, let's just also go quickly into the historical data so i can show you something and that is also why this uh, why i mentioned this two trillion uh, market cap uh, yeah target if we are going back into the historical data um, first if you never see, saw this I uh, will show this to you because 
right now the patterns are very very similar to what we have seen in 2016 and 2017 so take a look at this that was the old all-time high back from 2018 then we break through the old all-time high retested it with another consolidation stage then going back higher moving up 58 percent and then here yeah, then did the next correction and let's just take a look into the historical data chart so you can see that right here right here so that is that is the, the blue line again is the uh, old all-time high from 2013 and here also dynamically break through retest the old all-time high consolidation stage this consolidation stage of course took way longer than the current uh, consolidation stage so uh, the first consolidation stage back in january just took one month here it took six months and then after the breakout you remember guys 58 percent moving up and exactly as we did in the current cycle we moved up 58 percent uh, then followed by a drop and then we have the outbreak here you can see that let me zoom in a little bit then we have the outbreak right here above the previous all-time high and then breaking out 15 percent and then directly followed by another correction that is also lasting a little bit longer and also have some yeah, serious drops in it i think here yeah, it is also a 30 percent correction and if we are just projecting that right now on uh, on the current market cycle then we can see that yeah we have also here the 58 percent that is by the way i put that into my chart right here so uh yeah i'm i'm also uh, it was very very nice to see that this target was hit exactly um but of course i'm not a wizard or something like that i just want to show you this and uh, this right now this is the old all-time high and let's put 15 percent 15 percent on top of the old all-time high and then 15 percent you can see slightly above 2 trillion market cap so that would be uh, that would be the next target in the total market cap and when this higher probability scenario should play out and also if we should repeating the historical data pattern of course the the time windows are not exact uh, because this right here in the historical data chart as i showed you took six months here it was just one month also here this is also a little bit faster right now again and uh, yeah but um, but uh, we can get a very good idea so far from the historical data chart that is also why i'm still sticking to it and uh, that is why the next target for me would be uh, slightly above two trillion in the total market cap and uh, when we see then something that we will have that we will also do uh, extreme acceleration in the buyer index so that this will just yeah continuing to moving up very fast then this could uh, be a very very short upward move again and that will then followed by a 30 yeah historical data would say 30 percent correction but 30 to 40 percent uh, correction is what we normally see in uh, yeah in bitcoin and in cryptos that is nothing that is unusual but that would be my higher probability scenario right now that this will yeah likely play out um of course uh, the the chances to this scenarios will increase once we break through the old all-time high otherwise um only the two the two other scenarios are coming into play so that this correction will uh, continue and the other scenario is as i said that we move higher but the chances of the moving higher is of course increasing dramatically once we break through the the old all-time high and then the next the next target is slightly above two trillion and of course if there should be any uh, significant changes if for example the buyer index should be at critical levels i will post that directly on my patreon account also i i'm posting uh, much more updates on the buyer index on my patreon account so you you guys are always up to date and you know everything i do 
all my activities analysis you will find on my Patreon in in real time. So uh, that is just uh, what I also what I also want to say. And then in the end there is an interesting question I think, and the question is when do I become super bullish again? And you know guys that that let me quickly go into the Bitcoin chart and show you something. Maybe if you are yeah, if you're seeing my videos for a longer period of time, then you know that I'm super bullish on crypto since here. So that is the first time I bought in. So right after the cra the crash, then here was the next point where I stacked up my portfolio. I was also still very bullish right here. And since we break out of the old high and yeah, going into this consolidation stage right here, I was not, uh, of course, in general, I'm still bullish on cryptos, but I'm not that, yeah, they're not that super bullish like right here or like here. Because since here we not touched the 21 weekly moving average, uh, but you can see still see that I have added right here and right here. But still, I am not super bullish on cryptos right now because we are that far away from the 21 weekly moving average. And the next time I'm really becoming yeah, super bullish that we will really do the major next move to the upside. That is when we will do this uh, this year. Yeah, meeting again with the 21 weekly moving average when of course exactly this will be we have to wait and see i will give you of course updates on this but yeah that is uh, that is something that i just want to that i want to show you that i want to give you a little update about so uh, currently i am looking for yeah a continuation of this consolidation stage right now that would be of course the more relaxed way to meet with the 21 weekly moving average and if not uh, I, th I also think that the higher probability scenario right now is that we will break through the old all-time high and then aiming for the 2 trillion but then of course also it could get a little bit uncomfortable with another 30 to 40 percent drop yeah so that is just uh, what i'm thinking about the market what are my analyzers telling me what the buyer index is telling us what the historical data is telling us that is just what i want to give you a little update about uh, and i think that update was helpful if it was then please leave a like subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out any future updates as i said in the beginning of this video the first link in the video description is my patreon account definitely make sure to check that out it is absolutely worth it and that's it for this video see you in the next one and as always have a nice day